Oh, I'm back. Is it still recording? Well, hang on. It says it is. Oh, cool. It just started it back up. Sweet. Well, hang on. At least I think it is. Oh, no. It Okay, we're back on. Well, there are now? Think, I think. No. <laughs> you said your internet went out? Yeah, it just randomly went out. Okay, this is weird. It says that we're live, but when I... It says that we're live. Yeah, I really live. thought it was... I thought it was my end for a minute. I'm like, oh, no. I did for a split second, but... Oh, okay. No, we're back on. That's super weird. Sorry about that, everybody. I have no idea why my internet just randomly went out, which never happens because I have phenomenal internet. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, my first time on, I did something. No, no, it was totally my internet. That was super weird. And we we were wrapping up the last match anyway, but we'll, we don't want to leave you hanging. Um Roman Reigns is now the undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and I hope they take this okay. opportunity to get rid of the Universal Championship. Here's my thing, and this is this is my personal fantasy booking. Um, I, I this could have went two ways. This is two ways I would have booked it in a way I thought it was going to be booked. I think it would have been finally an end of the era to Roman Reigns and the bloodline because of the way I booked Usos, the pipe quite possibly possibly of losing the tag titles. I thought it was gonna be the end of the bloodline. Um and Brock win it finally. And then honestly, I I I, I picked Roman to win. Um I figured that was gonna happen. But here's my thing. Now you got Roman booked as the multiverse champion, you might as well say it. The champion of all champions. Um, you got him kind of booked in a corner, which I'm kind of glad they do because he's he has been getting a lot of shit over the last, I don't know, five years or so or so about being a baby face and then getting booed. And then when he was the bad guy, he's getting chaired. It's like, what kind of happy medium do you have? And I really felt that Roman winning, I felt like we finally would have seen rock show up at the end. Yeah. Ben said the same thing. To close it out. Yep. That's exactly what Ben had said. As you can tell, the rock didn't show up. So who knows when we're going to get that one. Now it's like, honestly, who are you going to book to beat Roman Reigns? Nobody. I was going to say, I don't know that there is anybody. Not currently. I mean, there's always Cody. And and that's honestly what I was about to get to. I think they're going to build Cody up enough to beat Roman. But I think... I don't think Cody's going to do it clean. I feel like when Cody wins, and no matter what, here, here's my thing. When Roman needs to lose in a, in a situation where it doesn't ruin the the bloodline or the tribal chief thing, because he's got that, that character pushed so far that when he loses, it needs to be against the Rock. Um, I mean, personally, that's my own belief because, like, he's really pushing the head of the table, the tribal chief, the acknowledge me thing. Like, the Rock is up here on this pedestal, and the Roman Reigns is trying to be on top of that pedestal. It's like, who are you going to have built to beat him and knock him off that pedestal? Rock's the only one, in my opinion. So it's kind of hard to book him in a place to lose because once he finally loses, if it's not to the Rock then in my opinion, the trouble sheet, the bloodline thing is kind of really knocks it back down and it's not worth 
as much. But if you book him into a triple threat thing, he doesn't have to take the pinfall. He doesn't lose the trouble chief. He doesn't lose the bloodline. And he can still be that sour heel. I never lost my world champion thing for to eventually get the Rock and Roman. Right. Now, who knows? They might build, they might build it for Roman to beat the Rock to take that top dog spot. But then if he does that, who's really going to ever beat Ro- Roman Reigns? And, and nobody, really yeah, to- yeah, nobody will in a way that doesn't feel super fake and contrived. Yes, it would have to be something, something fucked by WWE, something they have to pull out of their ass to really say, eh, let's just do this because we think that's what we want. Right. Yep. I agree. But Roman, Roman won. Um, overall, this WrestleMania certainly wasn't bad, but I don't know that I would classify it as one of the greats. It was one of the best of this century, if that makes sense. Within the last, uh, I'm going to say 10 years, this is one of the, one of the best. I was just going to say within the last, yeah, within the last 10 or so years, there've been a couple that have been better, but not many. Um, I think if like WWE's booking has just become so last minute to me. And it it always felt, and it always feels kind of rushed with Roman. It's either rushed or they're bringing back a past few if that makes sense yeah so it does trying to throw somebody in. yep no that makes yeah i'm i'm in the same camp but even the other matches like very few of these were totally fleshed out and the ones that were fleshed out and had been going on for a long time weren't really wrestlemania matches because like uh the happy corbin uh, Drew McIntyre thing's been going on for a little while, but that's not a... Or at least they didn't build it up to be a pay-per-view match. Like, there was no title involved. There was no real any... Like, any beef that wasn't, like, an eye-roll thing. Now, honestly, their feud's been building up since WrestleMania Backlash of last year. Correct, yeah. But again, they've there, there's no they didn't build it up to be a WrestleMania match. It it's, no. it's just a, it's just an ongoing feud, but uh, yeah, so that was WrestleMania and uh, share down in the comments, what you thought, if you so choose, maybe you disagree um, with me on certain things. That's fine. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Out of, t- yeah, out of 10, I'd give it a solid six and a half. I was going to say six, six seven. and a half. Six and a half, pushing seven, pushing. Like, it's it's like right there, like it's right there, almost seven with me. Yeah, not bad. Well, sir, that'll about wrap it up. Um, hope you, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of down the middle thanks again to brian for stepping in to fill the co-host spot while ben is uh anytime yeah while ben is busy fighting like a goddamn warrior and um speaking of warrior one thing i want to bring up real quick and uh as you can tell ultimate warrior is one of one of my top favorite wrestlers one of mine um April 8th, that's when the Ultimate Warrior passed away. April 8th is also the day Ben's last day almost was. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I was like, wow. One of my favorite wrestlers and my and my my closest one of my closest relatives was almost that close. That's crazy. It's legitimately crazy, man. Well, before I lead us out, do you have, I mean, obviously I, and we've been every day, it's like, we're just wishing Ben the best and we hope he gets better very soon so that he can join us back here again. 
hopefully knock on wood. Yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic every day. Every day. <laughs> knock on wood. I don't have I don't have any wood. I don't have any wood around me. Alrighty. Well, I will lead us out then. Thanks again, Brian, for real. Thank you for uh joining me tonight. And um if you enjoyed this episode of the Down the Middle podcast, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it just helps us pick up on the algorithm. I have noticed that we got another subscriber uh, today, and uh, the views are going up on the clips, so that's appreciated. It seems like people are clicking on them, finally. Um, so just keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you missed the live stream, obviously, you know, you can go back. All the past episodes are on the YouTube channel in their entirety. And if you prefer to listen to the podcast, you can check it out on the many audio streaming platforms, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, uh, Amazon Music, Audible, Stitcher, Radio Now, Anchor FM. And you can support the podcast directly through Anchor FM or by visiting the official merchandise store. Link is in the description. You can get Ben's favorite phrase put on a t-shirt. It's all a work. That was actually designed specifically for him because I found it hilarious. <laughs> because Ben is convinced that everything's a work. Oh, goodness. And you know what's a coincidence also? You're wearing a blue shirt, and I'm wearing a blue shirt. Oh, that is hilarious. Yep. <laughs> You can also pick up your official down the middle t-shirt, which I really should have worn tonight, but I wasn't thinking because I'm not going to lie. I'm very tired. And with that being said, that's all I've got.